In Python, we have another way of looping and that is using the while loop. So the while construct allows us to loop while a Boolean expression is true. As soon as it's false, then the loop terminates. So to demonstrate this, let's say that we have a variable. So let's say number equals two and then zero. So we want to print to the console the number as long as the number is less or equal to 10. So to do that, we can say while. So this is the construct. So while and then we can say number is less or equal to 10. And then end this with column and then enter and make sure that this is indented, right? So if I start typing from here, this is not valid code. So we have to indent this. And you see that if we press enter, it just puts us where we have to be. So in here, I can say print and then number. So if I save this, and then run this program. I just want you to let you know that this program will run forever. So check this out. I'm going to press play. And you can see that this is actually printing zeros and it's actually running, right? And this is because, so what I need to do is actually press control C in here, right? So we've just stopped. So the reason why it's running or the reason why it's printing zero all the time is because we told it to do so while zero is less than 10. So what we want to do here is say that we want to increment the value of zero. So to increment the value of zero, we can say number equals to number and then plus and then one. So what this is doing is the following. So here the number is zero, right? So the value of number is zero. Then we print the number and then I'm saying, right, so number, I'm gonna give number a new value and the new value of number will be the current value which is zero and then plus one. So zero plus one is one. Then the next time that this goes around, number will be equals to number. So the current value of number will be one, one plus one, two. And then it goes around, prints two, so on and so forth. And then at some point, the value of number will be bigger than 10. And at that point, we don't execute this loop right here. So let's save this and watch it execute. If I run this, you can see that now the program ran and it's finished. So here you can see that we have zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and then 10. So that is the purpose of while loops. So we can loop while a certain expression is true. Now I can also say in here, so I can say else and then column and then print. And then I'm gonna say in here, while and then loop ended and value of number is space and then add a plus and then in here, what we're going to do is say str and then pass number. So the reason why we are saying str in here, so this means string, is because we want to take the number and convert the number to a string. So here we are concatenating strings and strings, right? So if I concatenate a string with a number, it won't work. So we have to say, right, take the value of number and convert it to a string. So if I save this 
and then run. And you can see that after the execution of our while loop, it says while loop ended and value of number is 11. So here, check this out. So if I put this like this, so 11 is 11 less or equal to 10? No, right? So 11 is greater than 10. That's why we skip out of the loop and then we print this else statement. So this is how you use the while loop in Python. If you have any questions, please do let me know. Otherwise, let's move on.